welcome to this MySQL group application videocast. We're going to see how we can read your, our own writes across all the nodes of the group. So let's first uh, compile a small uh, C code that will write the data and read the data um, on the cluster. And if the transaction is not there, it will wait for it. So here we need to have session track GTITs enabled, which is the case here. MySQL2 is our writer uh, node, so the primary master, the other ones are the secondary nodes, so uh, the one we're going to use for reads, they are read-only. So let's first read and write from the same node, the writer, so which is MySQL2, I will write a small record here on my table, on my test table, the, record, the data I will handle is Barbara. So as you can see, the C code returns the GTIT of the transaction and the time it, it took uh, to uh, write and read it. We can see on the secondary master, master that the, the GTIT has been executed, so the transaction has been executed successfully and the data is present in the table. Of course the data is present on the writer too. So now let's do again exactly the same. So we're going to read and write on the same node but I will lock the secondary uh, master. Let's do it. I will add another record here with Almin. As you can see, the application succeeded. It uh, gives the JIT hit uh, that has been written and uh, the time it took for read it, read and write it. Of course, as we read and write from the same note on the writer, the data is on the writer, even if it's not yet on the slave or in this case on the secondary master, right? As soon as we unlock the data, it's there and uh, everything works perfectly. So now we're gonna read from a secondary master, so not from the writer. Let's add another record and read it from another node. So I read on from MySQL 3, but I write on MySQL 2. Let's do it. As you can see, we got the JTIT, so the, the, the write succeeded, but the read didn't happen. The application is still waiting because it has not yet been applied on the nodes that we are reading the data from. On the writer, the data is there, but it's not yet on the second or the remaster. So as soon as we unlock it, the application continues because it's able to read it. So it waits for it and then it reads it. So we added the wait for executed GTID set to the select. Of course, when we nothing is locked, it's quite very fast, even if we read from another node. But we can add this uh, stuff to be sure that we read all the data we want. So if we lock it, it takes more time until the data is the record and the transaction has been applied, right? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy MySQL group application. See you next time. Bye-bye.